Hey guys, I hope your day is going great and I hope you're learning a ton of cool stuff. I want to encourage you that whatever you learn, make sure you're sharing it. It doesn't matter how you share it. If you're sharing it in a Facebook video like this or maybe just an email or a note to somebody, um, a quick post, just share. Because when you learn something and you share it, you're able to really affect the greater world all the way around you and it also helps you to be able to learn more. Um, today, I wanna share something that I learned yesterday. There's days when it seems like the whole world has anxiety. And anxiety is a fear. Instead of fearing God, you fear some other thing. Oh my, I'm, I'm so anxious about, you know, uh, not being married or not making enough money. My boss is going to do you know, such and such, or my homework's not correct. I'm going to fail at this. My kids aren't going to grow up smart. You know, whatever it is that you're, that you're fearing, fear, instead of being placed in heaven, ends up being misplaced into that thing that you fear. So what I mean is when we don't fear God, we are automatically fearing something else. And that is where we're going to get our afflictions. Rabbi Nachman says that our afflictions and stern judgments are from what is called fallen fears. Fallen fears are misplaced fears. And those afflictions are coming to us through the result of fearing something other than the Creator. That's a fallen fear. We can't fear anyone but God. You, don't have to, you should fear no situation. You should fear no man. Man can only do what God allows him to do, right? They can take your body, but not your soul. They can't get to your true self. And they can only do what God allows. Fear that you have today is because your fear is not elevated to God. Anything that you're afraid of is because that has become clothed in a fear, a thing that you fear because you weren't fearing God. If I lack a fear of God in my livelihood, it could end up in me fearing a client. We have a small business and we take on clients. So let's say I'm not trusting God for my livelihood and I have a client who's unhappy with something about our work or whatever. I could end up fearing what that client might not pay us or what they might say, something negative about us or whatever, or a view. And that is a misplaced fear because I can't fear the client. Don't get me wrong, we should always do our best, but I can't fear what the client might say or what they might do or whether they pay us or not. A friend of mine went through a nasty situation. He has a small business. He's involved in a lawsuit over a project they were working on. And if he wasn't careful... I warned him he could start fearing the lawyers and the judges and all of that. But all of us have to realize that all those things, the lawyers, the judges, the things, the people that we misplace our fears into, <laughs> they're simply actors on a stage. The Bible says, Ain o de milvado. God is one. There's nothing but the creator. So we have to realize that all those people, all the situations, all of that is orchestrated by the Creator for our ultimate benefit. If we begin to think that something else beside the, besides the Creator's divine providence is on our lives, then we will quickly fall into fear. You know, often God, it seems, allows us to chase after those fallen fears. In His compassion, He allows us just to take life as it comes at us rather than uh, if, if, if we're not fearing Him. And that way, eventually, he knows we'll get in a tough enough spot on our own that, that uh, we'll reach out to him, God willing. And I don't want to wait until the spot is really tough. I want to reach out to him right away because I'm beginning to learn who I am. I'm beginning to learn that I am a soul. You know, elephants are afraid of bees. <laughs> That's right. So these tiny little things buzz around their ear. And they can't even penetrate the elephant's skin. But elephants are afraid of them. Elephants are also afraid of being startled. Lions are afraid of mosquitoes. 
these, these huge animals are afraid of these itty bitty insignificant, seemingly insignificant things. It's the same with us. We have such huge, holy souls. We're made from godliness. God breathed into us and we have unlimited potential. And we end up being afraid of a bill that we get in the mail. Or we end up being afraid because you know, we have a landscaping business and it rained today or whatever. And we, like All of this is misplaced fear. So what do you do? What do you do with that fear? You have to take that fear and you have to elevate it to its root source. Part of our personal prayer time needs to address our fallen fears. How do we do that? We've got to judge ourselves. We have to take the time in private personal prayer to discuss with God what we are afraid of. And in that process, we'll realize that clearly those areas, we are not fearing the creator. We end up fearing man or we fear stuff rather than fearing the creator. When we fear God, the fear of those things goes away. It's like, if you love God, you're not going to love all the stuff that's bad for you that you're trying to fill the void with. Because you you either have an elevated love or you have a fallen love. If you love God, then you're not going to put your love into you know some person that we all know is not right for you because that's just lust, right? You, you got a big difference there. The more you love the Creator, the less you're going to love those other things that you think are going to make you happy. I have a friend of mine who recently visited us from Uganda. And if you listen to him speak, you can see that by comparison to us, they've pretty much got nothing. Like, he shows me pictures of, of the people around him. They're sleeping in, you know, like a makeshift hut. They just took a few, like, empty pallets or whatever they could find and maybe a, uh, some sort of a worn-out tarp and tried to put that over the top. And that's their house. And they're, they're eating barely what we would even call food. But my friend's love for the Creator and his, his complete trust in divine providence is so evident and <laughs> it's so different than what you see in our first world reality, right? You see, they don't have the things to fear other than the fear of God. So their amuna is extremely strong. We in our first world reality, false reality, whatever you want to call it, we've got so many fallen loves and we love things, we love people, we love all of that more than heaven. If you love God, you're not going to love to eat food all day, right? The more, we, the more our love is elevated, the less we have love that has fallen. The more we fear God, the less we have fallen fears that are going to affect us. So I say, may we all put our fears in the right place. Find that personal prayer time. We should all tell the Creator that we lied due to fear, that we weren't nice to someone, or we weren't honest in business, whatever it happens to be. We all make mistakes. Don't deny the mistake. Don't blame it on somebody else. Just approach God and tell Him. Set aside the time. Confess and have a much more fulfilled love and a much more fulfilled life.